So the Panasonic DBX200 is here. So have people been waiting for this? Yeah, oh yeah, they've been a lot. Um, it's about time actually that it's released. It's going to be released in September, uh, well, mid of September, end of September. So it means that it's going to be in store around, say, mid October. Uh, there's been a lot of talking around this product. Yeah. So this 4K? It's 4K. What kind of 4K does it do? It's real 4K. So there's, of course, Ultra HD, but it's also real 4K up to 60p. 60p 4K? Yes. How about all these, uh, the colors and everything? The colors? What yeah. do you mean? Uh, like, is it 4.2? Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, so in 4K, if you want to record inside the camera, it's going to be 4208 bits, which is still higher than what you get in 4.2.2 10-bits uh, in Full HD. But, it, but then, if you use an external recorder through the HDMI output, it's going to be 4.2.2 10-bits. All right. So external recorders are Means, easy to get? Yeah, there's just one here, for instance. It's brand new, it's coming from Atomos. Um, it's 4K. And this is It looks actually, like a tablet, but it's a recorder. It looks like a tablet, but it's a recorder. And it records 10-bit? It records 4 to 10-bit 4K. What's the demo you have with the big uh, 4K uh, Well, that's just uh, some kind of a technology show-off. It's a 4K tablet. It's 21 inch and but basically, it's the biggest tablet you can get to today on the market. It's a totally it's a, computer. It's an awesome tablet. It's so how about, uh, can we look around the ports? What's new sure. compared to... Sure. So first, the most important, I guess, is the fact that you have a 13x uh, lens that you cannot take off, but 13x. And with a wide angle, 28 millimeters, uh, that's the first thing. The second thing is you have a very nice and quite large uh, touch display so you can access all the things that you need to access to on the display directly including the menu for instance and get into all the system mode and change for instance the output bit depending on what you want to do that's a very nice thing. Uh, what's the codex you can do in 4k uh, is it 100 megabit minimum or what's the minimums you have that's, different, uh, that's a very good question. So uh, we can go in here in, in menu, right? Yeah, so... Here you go. So what does it say here? Uh, four, uh, 24, uh, so that's the frame rate? Yep. So you have, I guess, to go back into... Uh, where was okay. it? It's in the record mode. So what uh, what medium do you record on here? You record on regular SD cards. Well, although they have to be they have to be quite uh, they have to be quite fast because of course uh, 4K is quite heavy. So what you can do here is record in two different formats on two different cards. You can record twice the same thing on the, uh, on two different cards. Safety or yes or. Uh, yeah. Just record on the second card in case the first one's full. All right. So, uh, but you can record two different formats, but not yes. two different 4K formats. No. And so, uh, all this other stuff is what? Uh, what kind of uh, user wants this camera? Is it for semi? Is professionals? Oh, definitely. It's for professionals. It's for uh, small productions. It's gonna be. Uh, it's going to be for uh, TV productions, the ones that are already uh, shooting in 4K, and some of them are. It's going to be for nice production that need to have some very light equipment, uh, things that have to be shot very fast, for instance, sport, things that where you don't have the time to actually equip your GH4, for instance, with different lights and microphone and uh, lenses and so on. So this one is really a shooting gun. You how, many microphone, how many audio inputs? You have actually two. One here, the other one is... Down there, right? Is, is here, sorry. There. And this is a... So here you have the remotes for the zoom and, uh, and the, the focus. Here you just have the audio output. Here you have the SDIs and, well, the, the DC. DC. So for this kind of professional camera, it's not too expensive? It's absolutely not too expensive. If you compare... So what, how much? Yeah, it's 4,700 euro. 
Uh, so it's definitely not expensive. If you compare to some 4K uh, photo cameras, fully equipped with the SDIs and uh, the XLR and so on, it's going to be pretty much the same cost. The difference is with this one you have a great lens, again 30x uh, you have 12 stop aperture, you have all the things that you need whenever you're a professional, you have 8 use buttons and what buttons? Eight use buttons, you have 4 here, 3 other ones here and you have one last right here next to the trigger and so also it records really good quality and it's proven it's right? Just great quality. Everyone that has tested it up to now are fully satisfied. There's uh, lots of video no shot light here. Quality is good. Low light quality is good. It's it's 12 stop. So for this kind of size, because uh, actually this is very compact for a 4K camera, this kind of size, 12 stop is quite amazing.